Hey there folks, my name is Dazerin, and welcome to Lone Survivor, the Director's Cut. Uh, this is a game I really don't know much about, um, and it's actually when, uh, at the end of Strider, when I said that I was kind of terrified, I actually wasn't referring to this game, um, I was actually referring to a, another game that I really want to play, but given my time constraints, I don't think I should play it yet. Um, it's, it's, okay, it's Silent Hill 2 game terrifies me. It's a game I really want to play, and I'm scared to death of it. I want to play it, but with my time constraints and having all these jobs and stuff going on right now, I want to make sure that I have the time to go through that game, and I don't think I have that kind of time right now, so I'm going for something a little bit smaller, a little more indie, so we're going with Lone Survivor, Director's Cut. This should be pretty good. I've heard good things about this, um, and this is also a horror game, so either way, we're going to be playing some cool horror games, so... Watch out behind you. Here we go. I don't know why I did that. All right, so we got a new game, and that's all we got. Okay. All right, let's do this. I I don't know how what this game even like looks like. I know it's a pixelated game. That's all I know. Before you start, the ritual is strongly advised. Firstly, for maximum immersion, ensure you are in a dark environment with no interruptions. Check. Audio is an important part of the experience. To be sure, to use headphones or speakers turned up loud. Check. See what you need to see. Be yourself and enjoy the adventure. All right, so let's see here. Let me, let me just see what the uh, different... See what it looks like here. It was set at three. Uh... Let's try four. Why not? Enjoy the adventure. Thank you, Jasper. All right, here we go. One more thing. Please pick the phrase which best describes you as a player. Oh. Note that this setting cannot be changed once chosen. <coughs> I'm new to this, and I'm scared. I know my way around. I am new to this in the fact that I know nothing about this. I am scared. I know my way around. We'll go with I'm new to this, just because I don't really know anything about this, so we'll go with that. Normal mode selected. All right. Okay, here we go. So we got Awaken Up. My name is... Oh, I get to name my character? Not important anymore, I guess. <laughs> okay. Used to know how long I'd been here. Now I've got no idea. Been a while since the outbreak started. That much I know. Oh, it's a zombie game. Hold up with the sound of those things outside. Monsters, I guess you'd call them. As far as I know, I'm the only one left. Left for dead? Eh. Okay. The lone survivor. Can't go on much longer, though. Almost out of supplies. And if there's anyone else alive out there... I need to find them. If nothing else, I don't want to die alone. So I look like I look like I'm a patient because I have like oh oh actually no in fact okay so it's an infection of some sort okay whoa okay so move with this okay whoa all right. <laughs> why why does it look like there's a zombie like tried to do a pull of Metal Gear Solid and can't do it I don't want to sit right now looks like a double espresso drink the coffee sure I'll drink the coffee lovely what I think I can hear something down there I don't like the sound of that. What's going on here? Oh boy. No, nope, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, dude. Damn, it's one of those things. I don't think I can, it can see me. Wait, 
Looks like there's a hiding spot just behind it. I'll see if I can sneak past. Hide. Move while hid. <laughs> Looks like he's got a huge smile on his face. Look at curtains. I might as well go through. Hi. Hello. Hello? I already don't. Are you okay? No, no. Probably, what's that you're holding? Okay. What'd you pick up? What is it? I got some kind of pocket flashlight. Let's try switching it on. Oh! Okay. Damn, my head. Oh, got a pounding headache. Damn night terrors. No better than the days. Well, good morning, flashlight, old friend. It's time to face the outside world. Game saved. Yay! So I can use the bed, look at the cupboard, use the radio. Let's see if I can get anything. We, the survivors, praying for in 203, that's all I could get. Hmm, I wonder if I should head for 203 first. Maybe there's someone alive there. Read diary. Let's have a look. Nothing exciting happened today. Tried to eat an insect I caught, but it's no use. Since it's just me now, I have to get out there. I need to find a weapon, something long range. Those sons of bitches are too dangerous up close. Those sons of bitches. Okay, I can't do that at that character. And I don't want their nasty disease getting on me. Then maybe I can get me something to eat. Oh, I remembered where I put their key. It's on the sofa in the living room. I don't know where the key for their bedroom is, though. That's the latest entry. There's something written on the door in a faint chalk. Read it? Okay, let's see. Ha! Alright. Weapon mode toggles C. Okay. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna get a weapon. That's nice. Flashlight toggles F. Quick reloads R. Okay. Enter the map is M. Okay. Expert mode. Okay. Um, ignite a flare is I. Oh, one. Okay. Place. Okay. Ah, it's locked. I need a key to open it. Okay. So let's go out here. What is this? I don't know whose this is. Okay. What's this over here? Ooh, a battery. I got a battery. Oh, so... Oh, man. I don't see anything special. Wait. Feels like it's trying to draw me to some other place, but it doesn't know where it wants that to be. Okay. locked. I need a key to open it. Pick up the front door key. I got the key to 205, so that's where I left it. Wait, what's that smell? Even with my mask on, it's making me dizzy. Take what's inside? Not a chance. No way. I don't like rotten things. Look at the washing machine. Hmm, there's something, some kind of cat plush on there. Might as well take it. Pick a piece of paper. I got some kind of diary page. All right. So, oh, I need a key to open it, okay. I'll get rid of it now, all right. I should probably get some sleep before I go out there. Don't want to forget what I'm doing. Sure seems, uh... It really wants me to sleep. I feel like I've had a past life, and if I sleep, I'll forget about it. Sleep anyway, sleep later. Well, he said he should sleep. Didn't he? He said he should sleep. I, I think it's too late for that. You can't protect me in my sleep. Okay. Are we not gonna get up into the bed? No, it's just gonna fade away. Day two, okay. I feel a little better. Game saved, all right. There we go. So I haven't, do I have an inventory or anything? Wing, 
take a map of the second floor. I got a map of wing court 2F. M. Looks like there's some things already marked on here. Let's take a look. Question mark in 203. All right, and it should, 203. That was Chai's place, wasn't it? Why would anyone mark it on here? I'll try and make my way there anyway. So I am there. Okay, so I gotta make kind of like a circle around. Okay, open, locked. Okay, so I can't find out what's locked and what isn't locked until I actually go up to it. I can use mirrors, apparently. Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, that letter that was pinned to the map. Read it now? Might as well take read the letter, then. Don't set off without a map, even if you do know your way around. Things keep changing, you'll see. By the way, I think I have a way to get past those things. I worked out they're attracted to the stench of decay. When I'm having trouble setting, getting past them, I leave some rotten meat down to one side of a hidden spot. Then I can hide as they come towards me. It's best to avoid them, you see. There's no signature on it. So there was some rotten meat over here. So let's go ahead and grab it then. Take what's inside. I can hardly bear to touch this. It's piles of rotting meat. I'll take six pieces of meat for now. It's the most I can handle. So I can come back and get more, it looks like. All right, fair enough. If only they hadn't locked it when the outbreak started. Wait, I can hear something down there. Not taking my chances without a gun. Gonna switch my flashlight off and try to sneak past. It's too dark to see. <laughs> I really like that because it looks like he's smiling. I really like that. That's so funny. Okay. I hear him. I hear ya. I hear you, dude. Okay. Oh, there you are. I see ya. Are you coming down this way? Are you gonna continue down this way? No, it sounds like he's going around, back around. Okay. Oh, is he, uh... Just going in a small little area? Okay, yeah. So, he's going there. Okay, I get it. Alright, so what I gotta do here is, um, I need to place the rotten meat. How do I do that? Uh, no, that's gamma. Aspect ratio. Crap, what are the buttons again? Hang on, I'll go, I'll go take a look. I can't get past. Maybe I need something to distract it. What were the... No. Shoes. Coat. Where was the... Uh, where were the instructions? Uh... Yeah, here we go. Okay, so... Interact, shoot, weapon mode, toggle. No. How do I set down rotten meat? Drink health, but place rotted meats too. Okay. My bad. Okay, so I'll place a piece of rotted meat there. Ah, go in there! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get the rotten meat. See you later, buddy! Oh, I don't like the look of this. Ah, crap! Okay. It's too dark. Well, turn your flashlight on for now. Some good books in their collection. Borrowed a few in my time. There's monsters about. I don't think it's a good idea. Well, turn your flashlight back off. Just in case. Oh my. Whoa. No, it's just my imagination. What the hell is that? Okay, I'd have to be crazy to want to go in there. Uh, we'll have to actually continue this next episode because we are over time. So I'm actually going to go back to the bed and save. Oh, actually, no, I probably can't do that now that I think about it. All right. Well, we'll end it here. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys will make this channel happen, and I thank you very much for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.